Well, well, well. Hey, how you doing? All right, good, good crowd. Uh, I don't know how many of you this applies to, uh, but I, uh, I am married to a, a black woman. You, okay, just checking. All right. Um, and it, here's the thing: there's a secret to being uh, married to a black woman and it being a very successful marriage. Uh, here's the thing: you need to be at least one to two percent a little afraid of her. That is. <laughs> That's how that worked. Uh, here's what happened. I was manscaping the other day because I love her, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I nicked myself. Ooh, yeah, she gasps, yikes, right? Uh, and so I, I dab it, and then I wipe, and then I dab it, and then I wipe, and then I look at her and I say, oh my God, is this what you go through every month? Oh yeah, and then she swung on me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as she should have. Oh yeah, let me tell you that one two percent kept them from connecting. That's all I'm saying. A little bob and dip out of the way. If you can't tell already by the sound of my voice, there's a plethora of white people who consider me their one black friend. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Right? I get it. All right. You can uh, take me on your corporate events. Uh, you can let me meet your awkwardly racist grandmother. <laughs> At one point, I was dating your white women. Yeah. Well, ooh, well, the, the, the chubby ones. <laughs> yeah, chubby white women love black dudes. Oh, they look at us like a Make-A-Wish kid with one thing on their list. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna tell you up front, I'm a different kind of black dude, all right? I am a different kind of black dude. Yes. I get nervous when I see the police behind me. But I also check my Fitbit to see how nervous I actually am. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that is definitely higher than normal. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good at all. Mm -mm. I, love, I love being uh, here in Atlanta. Is anybody here from up north, like any New, York, New Jersey, Connecticut? Where are you from? Massachusetts, that's what I'm talking about. I, listen, I used to date the girls from like Queens and like Brooklyn, but it, was, it wasn't always like the sexiest experience, all right? I would get in there and it'd start off nice. It'd start off like, yeah, 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 son, yeah, son, yeah, son, yeah, son. I was like, hey, bruh, look. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this. Mm -mm, I am safe. This isn't right. I gotta go. Oh, I miss the North. I miss the North. You know, because up there, the subtle racism was just mwah, perfect. Uh, uh, I moved down. Here's the thing. I moved down uh, years ago uh, during uh, Halloween season. It was great. And uh, because I love haunted houses, like one of my favorite things. Up there, it's very typical. You walked in and you heard, get out. Cool, no problem. But when I went to a haunted here, house here in the South, I walked in and heard, Go on now, get, go, get out of here, get out of here. And I was very nervous. <laughs> and I left right away. It was the last time I went to a haunted house in Douglasville. This, mm mm. Mm -mm. This is a pretty cool place to do comedy. Uh, you know, this is very unique. I get to do like cool, interesting shows like all the time living down here. Like, uh, has anybody here ever heard of Frolicon? Anybody? He has. See that laugh? He knows. You know why the rest of you don't know what it is? Because you're good people. Uh, <laughs> Frolicon is a kink and fetish convention that happens every year. Yeah, these are the people that are into like the collars and the leather and the whips and Republicans, all that weird shit. <laughs> all of it. Uh, I get off the stage and a dude comes up to me and apparently he's got two girlfriends. And I don't mean like a girlfriend and then like a secret girlfriend. I mean, he's got two girlfriends and the girlfriends are girlfriends, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a thruple. All right. 
And he says, hey man, you should get two girlfriends too. I was like, you mean like two black girlfriends? Hell no, I don't want two black girlfriends. I don't want to walk in the house in here. How come we don't never go nowhere, AK? How come you never take us out, AK? You ain't shit, AK. First of all, do you know how much three adult IMAX tickets cost plus drinks, plus popcorn? Hold up, team meeting. Uh, we're gonna split this $7.99 Netflix account and have a good time at home. That's what we're gonna do. He says, no, 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 it didn't have to be that. You could have like two white girlfriends. Oh, two white girlfriends? Uh, no, no, I don't want two white girlfriends. Now when I come home, there's Ugg boots and Tom shoes all over the living room. Everything tastes like pumpkin spice. The milk tastes like pumpkin spice. The hot dogs taste like pumpkin spice. The pussy tastes like pumpkin spice. Catherine, why does your pussy taste like pumpkin? Well, it is now gluten-free, so I guess that's all right. I just, it's gluten-free. No, oh, I don't, uh, I, I got used to the strip club culture down here. I wasn't familiar with it, but man, is it, it amazing. Uh, there's a place on the south side called the Candy Shop. It's great because all the girls down there have uh, candy names. So there's like a big girl named 100 Grand. Uh, there's an old chick named Werther's Original. She's got a sister on the other stage, Peanut Brittle. Mm -hmm. They got one tranny there named whatchamacallit. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. All right. Listen, before I go, listen, I got to, okay, speaking of, speaking of, right? So I got, I'm riding through Midtown, and uh, I look out the window, and uh, I see a girl walking down the street, and I had two thoughts. My first was, man, she's really pretty. And my second thought was, man, hope that's not a man. Uh, and then my wife asked me the most important question she's ever asked me in our entire marriage. She said, hey, if we have a son, and he's gay, how would you feel about it? Oh, wow. So I looked at her and I said, well, is he a top or a bottom? Kind of makes a difference. I got a gay son, he's gotta be a top. He's gotta be a top. I want him to like go out, eat steak, play ball, and then come home and show Cody who's boss. Like I wanna <laughs> raise like a man's man's man, you know what I mean? All right guys, listen, this has been awesome. You've been a fantastic crowd. My name is AK.